morning students today we are going to discuss about silk fiber production so first topic second polyester fiber production third topic is nylon fiber production so silk silk polyester and nylon all are filament yarns silk is a natural filament yarn the one and only natural filament is silk filament polyester and nylon are synthetic filament yarns so the first topic is silk fiber production in this silk fiber production there are four stages so the first stage is eggs second second stage is larva third stage is pupa fourth stage is adult silk moth in the first stage the egg stage the female moth lays around 300 to 500 eggs on mulberry leaves this is a picture of mulberry leaves the silk moth lays 300 to 500 eggs on the surface of the mulberry leaves the second stage is a larva stage first stage is the second stage is the larva stage larva is a 4 to 5 mm 4 to 5 mm length hatch from the eggs these larvas are continuously feeding with the help of mulberry leaves around 25 to 30 days so 25 to 30 days we continuously feed the mulberry leaves to the larva then it converted into pupa stage here it weaves a net to hold itself it is segregating a fiber that hardens the when it contact with the atmospheric air this fiber is made up of protein this fiber is made up of protein this is called silk fiber the moth covers itself with a silk fiber is known as cocoon this is known as cocoon cocoon this cocoon yields silk silk fiber or silk filament yarn so this is a life cycle of silk fiber production the first stage is a egg stage second one is a larva stage third one is a pupa stage fourth is a adult silk moth so the from the cocoons we can get the silk filament yarn so this is a life cycle of silk moth or silk fiber production method here we can use the term sericulture what is sericulture the rearing of silk cocoons for the production of raw silk is a sericulture china thailand and india are most famous for silk fiber production so the silk sericulture method is followed in these countries mostly silk reeling the process of reeling a number of cocoons together to produce a silk thread is a silk reeling from the cocoons from the cocoons so number of cocoons are combined together to produce a single thread that process is known as silk reeling so the production of silk fiber this production of silk fiber consists of four stages the first stage is egg stage second one is a larva stage third one is a pupa stage fourth is a adult moth stage here from the sta third stage the cocoon stage itself we can get the silk fiber filament yarn by this way we can produce silk filament the most luxurious natural filament is silk next fiber production is polyester fiber we know very well the polyester is a 100% man made fiber so winfield dickson of uk invented first polyester fiber the name is terilin terilin is the first polyester fiber the polyethylene terephthalate is a main monomer for production of polyester so the polyester fiber simply called as pet p e t pet means pet fiber is nothing but our polyester fiber the manufacturing process of polyester the preparation of raw material terephthalic acid and ethylene glycol these are the chemicals used for producing polyester fiber 
these two chemicals are mixed in a tank then polymerization reaction takes place in the polymerization reaction the temperature used here is 262 280 degrees centigrade around 3 to 6 hours polymerization reaction takes place after polymerization we can get the polymer chips in the polymer chips are in the size of pallets so the pallets are used as a raw material for um, polyester fiber production so the pallets are getting melted when increasing the heat so the melt spinning system the diagram shows the melt spinning system are used to produce the polyester fiber what is melt spinning when the heat is applied when the heat is applied the polymer gets melt this is called melt spinning system here the parts of the melt spinning system is a hopper which hold the input material there is a extruder which is used to increase the heat of the polymer there is a metering pump which governs the flow of liquid that's a spin pack in the spin pack there is a equipment is called spinnerate spinnerate through the spinnerate only the polymer emerges emerges from the out from outside so the spinnerate decides the size of the filament yarn so from the spinnerate the polymers comes out as a liquid stage molten polymer stage at the time we apply cooled air so quenching air so the molten stage of polymer is converted into solid stage after that we can apply lubrication and uh, it's wind on a suitable package this is a uh, working working process uh, principle of melt spinning process so here the polyester fiber production method the polymer chips are ready so we can go for melt spinning process in the melt spinning process poly polyester polymer chips are fed in the hopper it passes through the extruder here heat is applied so because of the high heat the pallets of polymer is converted into molten stage melting condition so the polymer is passed through the metering pump the metering pump control the flow of polymer so the metering pump control the flow of polymer from the metering pump it reaches the spin pack arrangement here the spin rate the n number of holes present in the spin rate is used to produce the filament yarn the number of filaments uh, number of spin rate holes is responsible for the number of filaments coming from the spin rate then we can use the lubrications then wound on a suitable package this is the production of polyester filament yarn so we can you we can give the textilization process here also so the artificial twist is introduced here so in order to get the cohesion of the fiber after the textilization the filament is wound on a suitable package this is a process of melt spinning process in this way the polyester fiber is produced next is a nylon fiber various human carothers invented in nylon in the year of 1938 nylon is a father of synthetic fibers nylon so in this nylon fiber there are two types of nylon fiber nylon 6 and nylon 66 nylon 6 is produced from caprolactam the monomer is caprolactam the polymer is polycaprolactam for nylon 66 the monomers are hexamethylene diamine and adipic acid these are the two chemicals used to produce nylon 66 polymer so here also the same melt spinning method is applied here to produce the nylon filament yarn so in the melt spinning system the adipic acid and hexamethylene diamine both the chemicals are combined together which is passed through the operator then autoclave then reaches the spinning solution two methods of production are shown here the first method explains the production of nylon filament yarn here nylon stable fiber production so here also the spinning solution the adipic acid and hexamethylene diamine spinning solution is prepared 
through the prepared and is passed through the spinnerator. Here metering, metering pump is used here which controls the flow of liquid then it passes through the spinnerate we follow the we flow the air cold air so the molten polymer gets solidified then the filament is bound on a suitable package the same way if you want to uh, produce stable fiber the same process is applied here the one and only difference is the cutting process so we can cut the cut the fiber as our desired length this is the production of nylon fiber so in this class we discussed about the production of silk fiber fiber and the production of polyester plumbing and production of nylon plumbing